This is really random too, but I really want to get my boobs done. We are having the craziest storm right now. You can't really see, but it's raining hardcore. I just packed up giveaway winners. These were the KKW fragrance winners. And then this big envelope here was a random winner that I just chose randomly out of comments. Like I wasn't having a giveaway or anything. I just like randomly chose someone and I wanted to send them something. So those are it. And then I bought all of these I bought like a pack of note cards because when I send out giveaways, I like to write a little note. And then I had so many left over. So I just went on Snapchat right now and I just told everyone like, hey, I have these note cards left over. If you want me to write you a little note, just send me your address. So that way I can just send out little notes to just a few people. I only have a handful left. But on my way to the post office, I can mail out a few little notes. I thought it was so cute. Like nobody writes to anyone anymore, I feel like. So I'm writing a few little notes. I think I only have enough left for three, five people. That'll be a cute little surprise in the mail. It's actually really nice weather today. I'm gonna open my sunroof. Not, not like, not open it, open, just like, get some more lighting in here. It looks so much better. It's such a nice day. Like, I walked out in just this sweater and it's not cold at all. It feels like spring right now. This weather's crazy. Then I gotta go to the P.O. box and drop off the giveaway prizes and the notes that I wrote out to some of you. And then I have to run back home and get ready. I'm going to an event tonight for CoverGirl. I'm really excited. And I have to get ready. I washed my hair this morning, so it's pretty it's pretty dry, which I love styling my hair when it gets really dry because then I can do it a lot quicker. So all I gotta do is just straighten my hair and do my makeup and get dressed. I don't even know what I'm wearing. Like I didn't really bring anything cute with me. And I don't know, I'm just, I'm just like in one of those moods where I I just don't feel, like I'm not feeling it. Um, so I don't know. Hopefully I put myself together for tonight, but I'm just not really feeling it. But I am excited to go to the event. So someone sent me lashes in the mail. Let's just open it now. Oh, pretty packaging. These are called Killa Lashes. That's what they look like. And he sent me two different styles. One is Iris and one is Forget Me Not. So this is the style iris. This definitely looks like my kind of style. Very pretty. And then forget me not. Ooh. These are nice. These I would wear for like a night out or to an event. So pretty. I'm definitely excited to try these. They are by Killa Lashes. They're on Instagram and killalashes.com. I'll try to remember and link it below so you guys can check it out. It's going to be my first time trying these lashes, but they look very pretty. Packaging is very nice. Congratulations, Carlos. And then I got a letter. I got a letter. It looks like it was a holiday letter. I haven't checked my P.O. box. Ah, there's glitter falling everywhere. <laughs> oh my God, it's definitely a holiday letter. Stop it. Oh my God. This is so so cute and it's from Kathleen it says from our house to yours best wishes and a happy new year Merry Christmas and happy new year I love your YouTube and you always make my day keep doing you girl don't ever change love Kathleen PS what up though <laughs> oh this is so sweet thank you so much Kathleen I am writing you a letter back because this is just so sweet. I think you're the only person that sent me a holiday card. I love you. I am running behind schedule. So I'm going to run actually to Ulta. Because I have to buy a nail polish. Because my nails are so bad. And I don't want to show up with 
bad looking nails i feel like when your nails look bad like it just looks like you don't put yourself together so even though my nails are super ratch i'm at least going to paint them so they look somewhat decent Sun is rising, here we are. I didn't think we'd come this far. I just feel it. This is truly where I belong. Making my way down Ocean Drive. Hung over people pass me by. I know they feel it. Yeah, they feel the way that I do right now. Lost in Miami, and we were too drunk, but it was only you and I. Only you and I. back in the car right where you guys left me but i'm actually put together now i straightened my hair i'm wearing a dress and a leather jacket and some little heels i actually found a dress in my closet here and i was like oh my god i've never worn that dress so put it on fits good looks good um i'll try to show you guys my outfit later on but right now i'm running late like always i have to go meet nadia at her house and then we're gonna call an uber from there and head into the city and i painted my nails super last minute like literally right now and i'm hoping that in the drive to nadia's they'll dry perfectly um thank god it's like a kind of like a sheer color so it's like okay if it kind of messes up and i'll show you guys what i picked up because my friend recommended these really great nail products that i think are gonna help me like grow my nails out so i will show you guys that tomorrow because i know i'm gonna get home late and i won't be able to show you guys but i'll see you guys at the event i hope i can vlog at the event Every time I go to an event, it's just so crazy and busy and loud and dark that I end up not vlogging. But I'm taking my camera with me. We are going to try to vlog. Quick fix, boom. It's still not good. 
You know what we need this? No. Either way. Either way. Yeah. 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 My, this is my Scorpio sister. Like, I'm always out there about being a Scorpio. Yeah. She, okay, we're both Scorpios, and whenever I'm going through something, I literally think to myself, like, what would Rose do? And I, yo, I'm gonna you know, start. I give advice, but I'm like, I suck at taking it, but it's okay. It's alright. I think I give really great advice, but people go to your advice. And she gives really great advice, but I guess we don't take our own advice. However, I really do think, like, yo, what would Rose do? Because, like, you understand me from a Scorpio yes. point of view. Yes. So, I, I don't think. Oh my god, you guys, I am so tired. I didn't even get home that late. I think I got home like at 10 30 maybe. And I stayed up watching friends. <laughs> Uh, but I got up super early and I've been editing a vlog all morning. It's a pretty long one, so that's why it took me a while. I was supposed to head back to Maryland today, but I'm waiting for a package for things that I need to film a video. Um, so that's not happening. I should have had it sent to Maryland. <laughs> but I thought I was going to get here by now, so I don't know. I think I might leave tomorrow. Um, I'm kind of glad that I got up so early because it's only 11 o'clock now and... I already have my video uploading so I'm gonna go to TJ Maxx I'm gonna go to TJ Maxx because do I have my wallet in here yeah I'm gonna go to TJ Maxx because I I want to try to find some like workout tops I don't have I feel like I don't have like good workout tops. I just have a little bit of options and I, I want to find like something cuter, like something more form fitting because some things that I have are a little too big for me sometimes. I don't know. I just want to go find workout tops. I have a lot of pants, but I need more tops. I feel like they never have the type of tops that I want. Like for people with big boobs. I don't know. Like they don't have the type of top. I, I should come out with a workout line of just tops. I'm heading to Marshalls. There's a new Marshalls that Nadia had told me about and I was driving by it and I figured I would come check it out. When I get home I have to repaint my nails because I painted them in a rush last night. They already messed up so I'll show you guys when I paint later the products that I got. That was a really quick trip. I didn't buy anything, but I did find a ton of makeup on sale, like Anastasia, Too Faced, Glam Glow, super cheap, like $3, $6. I almost bought stuff only because it was on sale, like so cheap, but I was like, I don't even need this, so I didn't buy anything. What I wanted to find was the Kat Von D contour palette, because so many people have told me that they find it for really cheap at TJ Maxx and at Marshalls, but I have had no luck. It's like the one thing I really do want. Otherwise, I'm just gonna have to buy it full price at Sephora because I ran out of my favorite shade. So I don't mind buying it since I do use it all the time, but I was hoping I was gonna get lucky and find it on sale like everyone else that messages me. And before I forget, the dress that I was wearing last night is from Naked Wardrobe. I did buy it like a year ago, I just never wore it. But that's where it's from. They always bring back a lot of similar styles. I love their clothing because it's super neutral and basic, but it's pieces you can dress up. Mm -hmm. It smells like a it Smells like oh, oh my god. <laughs> we don't know how to walk. I'm with Ayla right now. No, because I thought you were turning that way. I thought I was too. I have to return something at GNC. I bought a pre-workout that I've been testing for the last few days, but I really don't like it. It's called Lit, L-I-T. And it tastes good and everything. I got a good flavor, but I feel like I can never work it off. Like, I still feel kind of jittery after. And, like, I keep the aftertaste, so. I'm gonna go back to the one that I really like. Who are you waiting for, huh? Hey, come here. Show me some love. Ow, never mind. I'm just so tired. I think I'm gonna go to sleep early. This is really random too, but 
I really want to get my boobs done. I know, so random. Um, I've been thinking about it for a really long time now. And I kind of want to do it this year. Like, I feel like, what am I waiting for? I should maybe do it this year. I should specify, I don't want bigger boobs. I want to get a boob reduction. I know. No, I want to go for a consultation and see like different doctors and like see what they say like is it worth getting a reduction before you have kids should i just wait till i have kids or is it no big deal like i just want to get more information on it if any of you guys have ever gotten a boob reduction let me know like let me know if you did it before kids if you regret it if you love it uh i just i've always wanted to get a boob reduction but i always told myself oh i'll just wait till i have kids but i'm kind of tired of waiting i don't want to do it because i feel so uncomfortable like I know my boobs probably don't even look all that big and I swear to you guys it's because I'm always covered up I mean obviously you guys could tell I'm always covered up but I always wear like tops that like cover me up and I wear a lot of loose tops just because I'm so uncomfortable sometimes with my boobs um I have 34 double d that's my bra size and they're just so big like to me they're so big um right now you can't even tell right now I feel like you cannot tell okay so these are my boobs obviously um but also i have on a bra minimizer like i don't even have a regular bra on i have a bra on that kind of makes them look smaller that's how annoying like my boobs get in the way and i just feel like i like being more active like i love working out and my boobs get in the way like i feel so self-conscious that's why i'm always having trouble finding tops because if it shows my boobs too much like if it's a v-neck or something like it doesn't matter what sports bra i wear like and i've tried so many it, it's still like my boobs kind of pop out a little and like it's like up to here and it's like it hurts doing like cardio because they're like big so i'm really considering getting a boob reduction like not something like super small just a little smaller i don't know i have no idea you know what's hard about getting a boob reduction is that when you want to go bigger it's easy it's a little easier to tell what you're gonna look like because you could stuff your bra like they give you like the inserts so you could see what they look like bigger but when you want to reduce them i wonder if they can do something on the computer to like help you get an idea of what you'll look like because it's really hard and it's really scary like because it's like what if it's too small then what if you're like oh my god no so i don't know i really want to get a boob reduction i gotta figure out if i really can go through with it because it kind of scares me a lot Going under the knife scares me a lot. So, we shall see. So let me know what you guys think. Like, if, I don't know, those are my random thoughts for today, Wednesday. But this is gonna be a wrap for the video. I have nothing else to show you guys. We will come back tomorrow and we'll catch up from then. I'm about to hop in the shower, get in my PJs, watch some friends. I'll see you guys in the next vlog. <laughs>